Hey there, besties. We have to talk. This is a Thornton Township slash Dalton conversation because I'm over in the politics group and I see this person who commented and she must be watching somebody watching my videos child because now all of a sudden this is what's being said. Let me read you the original post. I'm not going to put nobody's name up. I know this might be an unpopular opinion in this group, so please don't chew my head off, but I was thinking about the corruption that seems to be rampant in Illinois. I asked myself, how could the residents try to clean it up? The only answer that really makes sense to me is to start voting Republican. If you put different Democrats in there, you're going to have the same problems. Obviously, they have some type of agreement to all protect each other. If citizens start voting red and kicking these people out of they might be more inclined to start doing a better job. Not only that, but Republicans are not going to have a problem going against a Democrat. In fact, they would most likely happily do so. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there are not any corrupt Republicans. I'm not even arguing which party is better. I'm simply suggesting that this would be the best tactic, in my opinion, to start cleaning up the government on the state level. Put the government up against itself. There's no point in talking to Tiff. There's no point in being in her face. You need to be camped outside of Pritzker's house, his office, everywhere. Where's the organization? Where is the, the, the advocacy for organizing to say, we see you and we know you see us and yet you're not doing anything? Why is it that people aren't talking to the people that want to take Kim Fox's place? We know there are two. Those are the people you need to be getting involved. Where are the churches? Why are y'all not at the churches telling the churches, how come you're silent? Where are you at? What are you going to do? Why aren't the churches giving out the daggone food? Like these are, these, there's so many other avenues that should be taken instead of focusing on damn Tiffany Henyard. But the strategy needs to change. Waiting and hoping, shout out to Obama for the FBI to come in doesn't really mean anything anyway. Just say they came through and they raided again, like they did with Diddy. That don't mean that she going to jail. Clearly you can do anything around here and you can still work. Let's not even talk about that video about the um, Thornton Township grass cutters. But I, my thought process is if there is any Republican anywhere trying to run for something, get them to come in and help. You have nothing to lose. Well, I be damned. Did I not just say that where are the Republicans who are running for office, not only in Thornton Township, Dalton, or anywhere in the Southland, but in Chicago? Remember, uh, we spoke about the two Democrats that were fighting it out, trying to take over Kim Fox's job. They're clearly showing where their allegiance lies by not saying anything, specifically when the DNC was just here. You're telling me there are no Republicans out here who are trying to vie for a spot. I just said that, you know, for the people that don't want to hear me, I said, this is something that they should be thinking about doing it. And honestly, they should also be talking to the churches and asking why they're not out, why they're not doing anything. The community activists, why they're not trying to demonstrate in front of Pritzker's house, his office, Raul's house, his office, Kim Fox's house, her office, all those things. Instead of being in front of Big Tiff, Cause you know, damn well, she is not going to change. She don't give a damn. And she just takes all this stuff as fodder for her. Cause clearly somewhere, somehow, some way, the people who are in charge in Illa damn Noy knows what she's doing and don't give one damn. Kim Fox is stepping down from her post as Cook County State's attorney. Four people are running to replace her. One Republican, one Libertarian, and two Democrats. The two likeliest people to replace Kim Fox atop the second largest prosecutor's office in the country give the outgoing state's attorney vastly different grades. I would give her um, a failing grade. I would not have stepped down from the appellate court unless I thought we were at a critical junction right now. Some of the things that she's done, especially when we talk about reform, have been uh, nationally replicated. So we, we, I mean, the nation has taken note of this. That's Clayton Harris, an assistant Cook County State's attorney in the early 2000s. He was chief of staff to Governor Rod Blagojevich, now teaches policing at the University of Chicago. He's been endorsed by Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle and considered the more progressive candidate. I'm blind to it. If people think it's going just fine right now, I'm not their candidate. He is their candidate. That is Eileen O'Neill Burke, a former assistant state's attorney, defense lawyer, circuit court, then appeals court judge. He's considered the more moderate candidate. A vote for me means we continue to move forward. 
I believe a vote from my opponent takes us back. Is this where Kamala gets her, we are not going back from? Vote for the black guy, not the white woman. But they also said that there's a libertarian and there's a Republican. But the focus was mainly put on these two because they were both vying for the position. And just as an FYI, it took approximately two to three weeks because it was so close because so many people wanted this man. He did lose and she is the nominee. Like the news just said, I'm pretty sure that she will be elected, but there's still a libertarian and there's also a Republican. I haven't seen anybody talk about near neither one of them. Again, there's a telltale sign that Big Tiff was right down the street from the DNC and didn't show up, didn't go to a party, didn't go to an event, wasn't on the floor near nothing. All the attention that she likes, please. But she went to see Joe Biden. You know, I, they can say what they want. I just have a, I got a feeling that somebody been listening to these videos and all of a sudden now, oh, we got an idea, but I digress. Let me go ahead and read them comments though, because the comments be coming, child. Now this is Garner, 72 comments. First comment says they like this stupidity. So brainwashed over the years. They don't see it. They vote for their own misery. No logic applied. The Democrats have paid for votes for years. They call it welfare. Welfare, much easier than working. The response is, I'm not going to lie. I used to be Democrat. I woke up though, unless they make major changes, I could never vote Democrat again. I now consider myself an independent who more often than not is voting Republican. I've lived in both Democrat ran states and Republican. And at the end of the day, the Republicans have done a better job. I hate the fact that people are so brainwashed to vote blue, no matter who, that even with situations like California, New York, and Illinois, they will continue to vote Democrat, even when Democrats are completely disregarding them and their well-being. Democrats have monopolized these states to the point a Republican doesn't have a chance. That's the truth in Illinois. Now that's part of the problem. That's why I said they got to get out and get other people on board with this. And at this point, they probably don't have enough time to be perfectly honest, but anyone who knows about Dalton, Thornton Township and knows what's going on there and can see what's going on in Chicago, know that at this point it's too late. That's why I always say, I always say, instead of reacting, you have to be proactive in advance. You have to think about downstream impacts and you might not make it for this year, but for the next two years and the next four years down the line, you need to go ahead and do what needs to be done. If it's possible to get people to see that you want to make sure that you try to make the changes in this upcoming election in Illinois, then do it. Cause I'm really interested to see who the hell it is that they're going to choose to be the DA that's taking Kim Fox's place. Uh, this comment continues. Democrats have monopolized these states to the point a Republican doesn't have a chance so they can do what they want. The reason we need more than one party is that the opposing party can apply pressure to the other. They can also take part in holding other politicians accountable. Honestly, if they continue voting Democrat, even though they state they are all corrupt, thieves, and have completely turned their backs on them, then they will deserve to be in the situation they are in. The reason Tiffany has made it this far this long is because nobody at the state level is willing to turn on one of their own. That's the bottom line. Shout out to this poster or this responder, because that's exactly what I said. You see it with everyone, including the D9 Boule people, who are, again, let me remind you, are already rich. They didn't pull themselves up by the bootstrap and they didn't made something out of themselves. They're rich people. They're on TV. They're doing a the damn thing, but they're trying to tell you all that you can't do it because you have to be worried about racist and racism. And for that reason, you need to vote for Kamala. That's the reason why. That's the reason why everything is why you can't make it is because of racism. Say I'm lying. The response to that is, yes, Democrats love free stuff. Uh-oh. We like free stuff. Huh? So we came out here to get all this free stuff. Huh? But then the car said, you can't get the free stuff. What? The people want to take it. And how y'all going to take some stuff that ain't even yours? It's free. Yeah. So I got my two baskets, the bus or whatever. Wait a damn minute. We get down here, we get some free stuff. We're already in a recession, times are hard. Why not just let us get the items and invest? Huh? and be okay we are black women we care about our crown why not give back to the community and let us get the product
the, the tools, any other eviction. Complain taxes are too high. It really makes no sense. If we want welfare and free stuff from the government for all, then that money has to come from somewhere and it's going to come straight out of our pockets, especially since these same Democrats are the ones that want to give unlimited free resources to millions of illegals. The only way it's sustainable is to tax the hell out of every American citizen that works and resides here. The response to that, Chicago, Illinois is one of the biggest shitholes in this nation. They compete with Minneapolis, Atlanta, and Baltimore daily for the title. Let's not forget California. Cook County is Crook County. Absolutely nothing is free. Tiff goes out the dole, makes her popular. She at least does something for the community. I despise the biatch, but she doing something. The other absolutely nothing besides biatching. I understand the township is basically set up to control the dole. She doing her job. It's all welfare. It's not like a normal municipality, I believe. She might have been doing her job against the rules, but what everyone seems to forget is at least she did something to help the residents. The response, I would rather keep my money, and if I fall on hard times, I'll figure it out. I don't want handouts from the government, and I'm doing what to support able-bodied adults either. I don't know how that was written. Response to that, we were raised differently. Yeah, I can tell that these people are older for sure. The dole is how Democrats control. The residents gladly take it. Every large city appears to have the same issues. Identity politics, they vote for race instead of leadership abilities. Joe said it. If you don't know if you're voting for me or Trump, you ain't black. Unfortunately, it is a fact. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. Next commenter says, I think that I think that is the misconception with voting parties. A Republican isn't immune to these same backroom deals, and a Republican has a better ability to take those same opportunities, and nobody would expect it. That is exactly why I no longer wanted to pursue my poli-sci degree, because I realized all those Republican politicians are working hand-in-hand with the Democratic politicians, and neither can be trusted. I just don't think voting based on political party will solve the issue. It might not solve the issues of moving forward, but it will definitely help if you pit them against each other. Like I've always said, everybody out here complaining the eggs is high, the milk is high, the gas is high. We can't find a place to live. We can't afford anything. Yada, yada, yada. Racism is the reason why you need to do this. Help me understand how that makes any sense. This is why. How many times have we talked about this? I know y'all know, but any newcomers. We've talked about this over and over and over and over again. You can depend on the government when you want, if you want to, but know that the person that's in control is the person that controls you. And yet when people are in the comments and the blogs talking about y'all want to vote for Trump over $1,200, no, y'all want to vote for a Democrat so that you can get free stuff. So you can get food stamps and all the other crap, but then you'll talk about being disproportionately affected and no one helps you. You're disproportionately affecting yourself most of the time. Y'all not willing to fight the fight that you said the ancestors fought. You think everything hangs still on what they did. No, it's about what we do now. It's about what we do now. Somebody tries to tell y'all, y'all want to call names. You a coon, you a this, you a that. Because we trying to tell y'all at the end of the day, it's about green. It's always about green. You're being held back. You're being controlled by the fact that you think that it's white people that's your problem. The people that make most of the money are freaking Indians and Asians. And y'all still fighting the black against white. We know that there's going to be racist. We know that there's going to be racist and racism. Please do not act like that's the reason why you are being held back. You're holding yourself back. Or you're having a bunch of kids before you establish yourself. Or you're dealing with low vibrational people that ain't got nothing, ain't never going to have nothing, ain't trying to get nothing, but then you blame them for your life. Those are your choices. When are we going to bring back accountability? People say shame. I say accountability. If you're an adult, your decisions are yours. And if it's right, wrong, or indifferent, the consequences of those choices are yours as well. But we don't want to hear that either. It's easier just to blame someone. And then you got people like Roland and them telling you that you're right when what you're doing is blaming someone else. For what you did, you're in control of your own damn life. If you're in control enough to go on vacation, you're in control enough to decide that you want to look into something, get all the damn facts, and make an informed decision, and stop listening to people on blogs that just want to show you, because they're getting paid, mind you, just want to show you something that someone else said that is racist. If you also worry about racist, why are you still banking? For those that rent, why are you still renting? For those that go to grocery stores, why are you still shopping for food? I know y'all going to say, I shop with the black people. Child, most of y'all don't. Please stop this lie. 
Don't, don't come to me with exceptions. Come to me with reality. If you ain't coming with reality comments, don't comment. Move on. Scroll the fuck up. Shout out to Take Heed to the message because I'm tired of playing games with y'all. This message is for anyone that wants to listen, but it's specifically for you coloreds because you are so freaking triggered by somebody being racist. The person you work next to at work is probably racist, but they come to work and they put on there where you have to act right because you're at work, because you have to act a certain way while you're at work. You all try to say it's not your authentic self. You can't come into some place where someone's paying you and be whoever the hell you want to be. You're going to be who they want you to be or you won't work there. So don't think that white people don't do it too. They just not disproportionately affected. Child, we might have to do a live stream off of this post alone because I know it's going to continue to grow and grow and grow. I ain't got time to go through it all right here on this video. This video is long enough as it is, but y'all let me know what you think. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. I see you all in the next one. I got one. false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. You going to jail? You're going, going to jail, jail Gatto. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. Say that, folks. Come here, say it.